Adolf Hitler lived in Colombia for a long time after World War II and fathered no less than three youngsters including famous medication master Pablo Escobar, as indicated by a Colombian student of history who disclosed to Canal RCN he has verifiable DNA verification. I met one Pablo Escobar hey now, Pablo Escobar's child, at a meeting and approached him courteously for one hair from his head. He declined. Later when he was truly tanked, I expelled one strand from his head of hair. He scarcely saw, Eduardo Bell clarified on Colombia's most well-known news channel. I sent the strand of hair for DNA investigation and it demonstrated what I suspected, the Escobars have to a great degree uncommon DNA for Colombians from Medellin. They are basically half Austrian, with Jewish blood. Reacting to the host's claim that this is all extremely engaging yet it doesn't demonstrate Pablo Escobar was Adolf Hitler's child, the conspicuous history specialist at that point disclosed why he turned to taking a strand of hair from the head of Pablo Escobar's child in any case. The official story of Adolf Hitler is phony news pushed by the CIA, said Eduardo Bell. You can demonstrate this yourself by experiencing declassified FBI records and perusing about Hitler, as opposed to depending on the created history they show imbeciles from course readings. The story that Hitler submitted suicide in a German fortification on April 30, 1945 wasn't considered reality until the 1970s. Declassified FBI records appear without question that Hitler fled Germany after the Russian attack and was resettled, with OSS help in South America after the war. The OSS, or Office of Strategic Services, was a wartime insight office and forerunner of the CIA that resettled various abnormal state Nazis in Argentina, including Adolf Eichmann who was caught in Argentina in the 1960s. You can see these documents yourself and I support each one of you to do as such. Eduardo Bell was alluding to declassified FBI records that demonstrate the CIA provided details regarding Adolf Hitler living in Colombia as late as 1955, filling in as a delivery organization worker. The FBI. Gov and CIA. Gov sites uncover that the U.S. government knew Hitler was fit as a fiddle, living in Colombia until 1955 and later in the Andes Mountains in Argentina long after World War II had finished. You can see the documents. Hitler put in 10 years in Colombia before he was moved to Argentina. In Colombia he filled in as a delivery organization representative. At any rate that was his cover, said Eduardo Bell. In all actuality Hitler was a CIA resource and youthful Pablo was aided his medication running business by his dad Adolf's mafia managers at the CIA. These cases are mostly moved down by Pablo Escobar's child Juan, who as of late went on the record expressing that his dad, the famous Medellin cartel boss, worked for the CIA. In another book, Pablo Escobar and Frigenti, Juan Escobar, who lives under the pen name Sebastian inverted exclamation mark and Mariquin, clarifies that his dad was not an independent man, but rather had a lot of assistance from the CIA. My dad worked for the CIA pitching cocaine to back the battle against communism in Central America, he composes. The medication business is altogether different than what we dreamed, he proceeds. What the CIA was doing was purchasing the controls to get the medication into their nation and getting a magnificent arrangement. He didn't profit alone, Mariquin expounded in a meeting, however with U.S. organizations that permitted him access to this cash. He had coordinate relations with the CIA. Will Mariquin's next book contain the stunner disclosure that Adolf Hitler is his granddad? You read it here first.